You can take your seat. He's given us dominion. Somebody holler, Rada. Which means we rule, we control, we master, we manage, and we lead. Somebody say it with me. We rule, we control, we master, we manage, and we lead. Say it again. We rule, we control, we master, we manage, and we lead. We rule, we control, we master, we manage, and we lead. Say it again. We rule, we control, we master, we manage, and we lead. Nothing master me. I'm the master of everything. How can I be a slave if I'm a master? Scripture says whatever you obey, you're a slave to it. You're going to either be a slave to sin or to righteousness. So it, I, that's why Paul talked about him being a slave of Christ. In other words, he was a slave to righteousness. Somebody holler, say, I rule. I control, I control, I master, I manage, I manage and, I and I lead. That's why when you pray and you call on the name of Jesus 12, legions of angels will come to your aid. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? When you have you, y'all ain't going to help me. That's why when you pray and you speak in the name of Jesus, Satan takes off running. Y'all ain't going to help me. Y'all ain't going to, am I talking to, the, to some of y'all like he does? I, 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 I've been fighting with him all day. How in the world are you fighting with somebody that you got authority over? You say, well, I don't know. Do I got authority, authority over him? Go to Psalms. Go to Psalms. You heard he was under your feet. You heard the pudding behind you. But look at what Psalms says in Psalms 8 and 4. Somebody holler, I got authority over the enemy and it's because of my rank in heaven do you understand and I'm going to tell you that Jesus who is sitting on the right hand of the father who and who in which the Bible says I'm hid in him and if I'm hid in him guess where I'm sitting well the scripture said I'm seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus what right, that's right, that's oh, I, love, I don't see how y'all can't get excited about that man wait a minute he's sitting on the right hand of the father making intercession but the scripture says I'm seated in heavenly places with him that's why I don't have to go to no priest in a booth. <laughs> in modern day vernacular, I can holler at him myself. Well, okay, the scripture says it like this. Come boldly to the throne of grace that you might obtain mercy in the time of trouble. So that's why if I ain't got to go to no priest in prayer, I ain't got to call pastor to pray. Look at you, look at you. Wait a minute. Don't he got more power than me? I got the same Spirit of faith. The only difference is I'll exercise it and you're hesitant to do it. Somebody holler and jump up on your feet and say, I got the same power. I got the same power. I like the way Jesus said it. Jesus said in Philippians 2 and 10 in the Amplified that in at the name of Jesus, every knee shall should must bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. I told y'all last week and this week that that same authority has been passed to you because even in Genesis, y'all are y'all with me today? In Genesis, real quick, turn there, twenty-two and seventeen. One of the one of the words of that covenant is that we or his seed will possess the gate of his enemies. Uh, and so so watch this. It says it says that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed, as the what stars of the heaven. And as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemy. Yes, yes. So he said, and to thy seed which is Christ. When you go to 29, watch this. Watch this in 20, verse 29 in the same thing right here. It says, and if ye be Christ, if you belong to Christ, then are ye what? Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. So according to the promise, I be Christ, I'm Abraham's seed. That means I possess the gate of my enemies. And that would make sense. That it can look like all hell is in pursuit of me. And they could be running at me hard. And I don't have to flinch. Because when they get the gate, I got the key. Just, just imagine there's a riot in a prison and the inmates run and rush the gate. As long as they ain't got no keys, all they can do is bam up against the gate. Y'all ain't going to help me. And that's why you can declare things like no weapon form. 
against me. Listen, they can shoot stuff through the gate, but they can't come through the gate. And when you have on the whole armor of God and you got the key, all the enemy can do is run to the gate, throw stuff through the gate, but no weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. All you got to do is remember to remind him, you know I got the key. That's why, that's why when the scripture says, and all things work together for them that to for them, all things work together for the good to them that love God and who are the called according to his purpose, for whom he foreknew he did predestined to be called, well, to be conformed to the image of his son. Now watch this. When it said he foreknew and he predestined, the word predestined is horizo. I've told you this before in the Greek, where we get the English word horizon. And horizon is a line that separates the earth from the sky. When you think about it this way, since you possess the gates of your enemy, or the gate of your enemy in other words that's the line that has been drawn that as much as satan wants to attack he keep running into the gate he keep running in y'all ain't gonna help me how can you be afraid of somebody who can't touch you and you got the key i'll leave you alone you don't get it you got the key that's why you can literally dance in the devil's face and all it does is agitate him because he's on the other side of a gate that you got the keys to and he can't do nothing about it. Now you understand Luke 10 and 19. When you look at Luke 10 and 19, he says, behold, I've given you power to tread on scorpions and, and serpents and scorpions and over what? You don't even read right. Let me hear you saying over what? Over what? We got to make sure we don't skip that. Over what? Of what? And nothing. Okay, I'll give it to you like this. Ellis, come stand behind this podium. And this represents the gate. And he hates me with a passion. And he wants to get to me. But there is something impeding and stopping his progress. And it's not just something. It's the gate which I've closed, locked, and possessed the key. Come get me, Ellis. Come get me, Ellis. And that's what's happening with the enemy. You running from somebody who can't touch you. <laughs> 